This Saturday night, 48 Hours Mystery takes a look at the fight to get a retrial for three convicted murderers. 48 Hours correspondent Erin Moriarty is here this morning to share the story. Good morning, Erin. Good morning. This is a very troubling case. Even though we know jurors can get it wrong, once you're convicted, it is very difficult in this country to get a new trial or get a murder conviction overturned. What may make a difference in this particular case is the help of some very high-profile friends. The names read like an Oscar party guest list. Actors Johnny Depp, Jack Black, singers Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam, Natalie Maines of the Dixie Chicks. Hi, I'm Natalie Maines and I support the West Memphis Three. They are all supporting the West Memphis Three, three men they believe were wrongly convicted of a horrific crime, the murders of three eight-year-old boys in Arkansas. The little boys were found in a drainage ditch, mutilated and beaten to death. The crime was believed to be part of a satanic ritual, so Damien Eccles, then 19, was sentenced to death. Jason Baldwin, who was 16, and Jesse Miss Kelly, 17, were given life sentences. That was in 1994, but today the West Memphis Three have become a cause celeb. How can you be absolutely sure that these three men are innocent? If there was the tiniest sliver of doubt, I wouldn't be sitting here. Actor Johnny Depp learned about the case from an HBO documentary. So did New York landscape architect Lori Davis. And my, my life just was completely changed after that. And how? Lori gave up her job and moved to Arkansas to help, and in 1999, she married Damien Eccles. She's like a living, breathing miracle in human form. Despite the support, I'm feeling positive about the three men have been denied new trials by Arkansas courts. Do you feel a sense of the clock ticking? Oh, yeah. You know that sometimes when someone from Hollywood takes a stand on an issue, he can be dismissed or sometimes accused of doing it for publicity. Yeah, I'm a big publicity hound, me. <laughs> If they, if they try to make me squirm, that's, that's nothing compared to what, what these guys have had to deal with for the last 16 years. What is most shocking about this case is how little evidence there is. There is no physical evidence, none, that ties the convicted men to the crime scene. Investigators first targeted a suspect, Damien Eccles, and then they build a case around him and his friends instead of what they're supposed to do, follow the evidence to the killer. So if these three men didn't commit the crime, is there any evidence that links someone else? Well, it has been 16 years, but they now have some DNA. Um, it's not conclusive, but it does point to a person that the police never interviewed, we talked to that person in our show. But most important is that new DNA does not connect to any of the three convicted hmm. men. In the meantime, time is of the essence because one of them is on death row. Absolutely. There is no actual execution date scheduled, but he could be executed if he doesn't get a new trial. All right, Aaron Moriarty, thank you so much. We will look for that story this Saturday, 48 Hours Mystery, A Cry for Innocence. Don't miss that tomorrow night at 10, 9 central here on CBS.